Interest rates are going up as families deal with record inflation. So how should your family be handling finances during these times? Joining us now, Daniel Friedman, CEO and financial advisor at WMGNA. Daniel, thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here, Aaron. Thank you. So the bottom line, you're welcome, is that this is a very difficult time for so many families. We're talking about the cost of everything is really up from going to the grocery store to getting gas in your car. What is your advice to families who are really struggling right now? What are the moves they can be making to try to get through this challenging time? Well, uh, difficult times and there is no one set solution. Advice is like real estate and politics. It's local. So our advice, if you feel that you need to be doing something is to go back to what your overall strategy is. Um, and that comes from goals and objectives. If you're still looking to stop working at 65 on the same standard of living and continue to do what you're doing. Um, what is your tax situation like, your cash flow, and to take a look at your risk tolerance. I We're talking to yep. our subscribers about the three T's, time, temperament, and tweaks. All right, the three T's are important. I know you don't have a crystal ball, Daniel, but in terms of the market, what are you expecting it to look like for the rest of the year? Because man, it has mm -hmm. been just up and down like a roller coaster. Yes. Um, the I expect the market to, um, or your investment statement to be either higher or lower at the end of the year. Um, to go ahead and make moves on unsubstantiated forecasts on interest rates, geopolitical tensions, inflation, is to act in a way, as Stevie Wonder would say, if you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer. Superstition ain't the way. What do you think in terms of the Fed has said over and over again that they are going to have to hike interest rates to deal with inflation and try to combat it? Is this something that's going to happen once, twice, three times? When do we expect this to go into effect from the Fed? Um, I expect in the June 14th and 15th meeting for another rate increase. But again, so what? If you wait for the Robins, spring is already over. So again, have a cogent plan, being reactive to what's going on to things that you don't control often ends up with a bad result. If you do feel you need to make a tweak, then, and you are overly anxious, sleepy uh, because of this, um, uh, irritable, um, then perhaps taking some of the stock market gains, the S&P 500, the last 36 months through Friday compounded at almost 14%. So take a small amount of that so you can feel like you did something, put that off to the side. And over time, again, we talked about time. Um, there was a time in 2009 where I was in, in your new Rocky Hill studio with Denise and it looked very bad going forward. The world was coming to an end. A $10,000 investment in the U.S. stock market, betting on the U.S. economy, would be worth $60,000 right now. Time heals all wounds, to go up based off your sayings. And the three <laughs> Ts, Daniel Friedman, CEO and financial advisor at WMN. MGNA. Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your expertise and advice. All right. Good deal. It's my pleasure, Aaron.